Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert non-PBR content materials into PBR materials. This will allow you to do further procedural adjustments using the Appearance Editor. The item we're going to be adjusting in this tutorial is the field jacket you can see here. This jacket actually consists of five different materials on different areas defined by an RGB mask. In order to use a PBR substance in Character Creator 2.0, you'll need to load it in from the Appearance Editor tab. From here, you can load in your own substance, or you can go to the CC Texture options to load a Reillusion created substance for Character Creator 2.0. You can notice by looking at the file names that some of them have three materials, some have five, and others have seven. However, there's an even easier way to choose a substance from the drop-down menu which I will show you next. Let's just load this seven material one in for now. The jacket currently on the screen is available for separate purchase from our professional outfits pack and uses the traditional Character Creator 1.0 textures. You can also select your materials from the drop-down substance menu above. Here are a few options. Current will use the current substance assigned to our item of clothing, in this case the field jacket using a traditional Character Creator 1.0 substance. Traditional will load the non-PBR substance being used by Character Creator 1.0. Below that are PBR version 1 underscore 3, 5, and 7 MAT. These are new PBR Substance options that support different numbers of materials. For example, the 5 indicates that it will generate 5 different materials on the same object. There is also a V1 which indicates the first version, so you can tell the difference from future updates. On this jacket, things like the stripes on the sleeves, the lining around the buttons, and the buttons on the zippers themselves are assigned different materials. Altogether, there are 5 different areas that can be assigned separately. The reason for these separate substance options is that more materials require more computer resources to process, which could significantly slow down your editing response speed. So you generally want to keep things as efficient as possible. Even though this jacket originally had 5 material assignments, let's choose the 3 material PBR version to see what happens. Character Creator is a smart cookie, and can tell right away that you haven't assigned enough materials for the current mesh. If this happens, it will prompt you to optimize the number of materials to match, or stick with your current selection. We'll keep our current selection for now. When the appearance editor is loaded, you'll see there are now three options available under materials, red, green, and base. If you want to see the different texture input maps, then we need to go under mesh data and enable use inputs. You'll then see all the input maps complete with the RGB mask under color ID. Your height displacement, normal, color ID, world space normal, and ambient occlusion texture maps. If you want to see which materials are assigned where, according to our Color ID channel, we need to go down to Enable Diagnostic Mode, and then choose Color ID from the Mesh Data drop-down menu. The black color will be assigned to the base material. If you look closely, you can see that the red has been assigned to the zipper and the buttons down the front. The green has been assigned to the trim along the bottom of the jacket. So let's go into the base and try to tweak it a bit. When switching from an SBSAR file with 5 assigned materials to a PBR setting with only 3, the extra materials will be flattened into the base material. In this case, the yellow, blue, and cyan materials have now been flattened, and will be adjusted along with the base material, shown as black in diagnostic mode. If we go into the red material and adjust the saturation there, you can see the buttons becoming much more colorful and noticeable as well. Finally, if we adjust the green material's hue and saturation, you can see the effect on this corresponding section of the jacket. As I mentioned earlier, the white stripes and trim along the zipper area have been flattened to become part of the black defined base area, and can no longer be adjusted separately under a 3 material PBR setting. Let's try loading the jacket one more time, and this time trying out the optimized version that Character Creator selected earlier. I'm going to choose the 3 material version again right now, and just like before, Character Creator will ask to optimize. This time let's choose yes. Character Creator will proceed to detect the number of materials being used by your color ID map, and switch the substance version accordingly. You'll notice if we select the field jacket, the 3 material version substance has now been replaced with the 5 material one. If we go into materials, we'll now also have blue and cyan options along with our original base, red, and green. The base, red, and green materials will be assigned to the same areas of the mesh as before, but now we also have the option to tweak the blue and cyan. Notice that if we adjust the hue of the blue material, it will modify the stripes on the sleeves and the one on the chest. If we do the same thing for the cyan material, it will adjust the appearance of the trim along the buttons in front. Finally, let's take a look at how to use new PBR substance materials to replace the current ones in each material section. The first thing you want to do is crank up the resolution in order to get better detail on the texture later. 
From there, let's set the base tweak values back to normal and then go into the material type drop down menu. You'll see that there are five major embedded PBR material options to choose from here. You can use the input map option if you want to load in your own texture paint. The generator option will allow you to procedurally generate a material from scratch. The embed options will provide you with predefined patterns to start with, such as leather, metallic, and other. For now, we're going to turn this into a beautiful leather jacket, so let's select the leather option. From there, you can choose the type of leather. Under the leather material option, you'll find lots of customization available, including leather type. The Cordovan leather is a bit more of an uneven and natural look to it. You can switch it up to the crocodile skin as well, with no additional money required. Finally, there's a plush version, which includes some luxurious looking cross-stitching. From here, let's go to the red section, which covers the buttons and zippers, and give that one of the metallic presets. There are a number of different options here, but let's just choose the pure gold one, as it's the most notable and suitable for this jacket color. Next is green, which is the bottom trim of the jacket. There I'll just choose the plush leather again, and the stitching pattern will then continue on that part of the jacket. Let's do the same thing with the blue section. Just going to choose a plush leather embed option, and you'll see the plush stitching pattern take over that as well. Finally, we'll do the same for cyan. Notice that if I leave the luminosity at a maximum value, it will still remain white, even though we switch the material to plush leather. Just take that down to return things to normal. Now, even though most of the values are the same, you can still notice a little bit of an edge where the blue and cyan materials intersect the base. To adjust this, let's just take the base luminosity value and adjust it to 0.4 to match those other material values. And there you have it. We've turned a construction worker's jacket into a luxurious plush leather jacket in just a couple of minutes. Once you save your project with the PBR appearance editor settings, it will retain the last material number the next time you load it in as well. If you wish to change the material, you can always load in different substance versions in order to upgrade or downgrade the number of assigned materials. Three material designs will essentially be easier on system resources, so it's recommended to keep the material assignments a bit low. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our other PBR tutorials on how to create realistic and detailed wood and metal materials as well.